Peace, peace, what it is. Um, I was listening to a, um, a lecture by uh, Ty Tariq Bay, and he all every time he I listen to one of his lectures, you know, he 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 make you want to get active, like you know, you want to just get out on the corner, you know what I'm saying? Just ho- I mean, not necessarily holler, but just preaching to the people what's really going on. So every time, you know, when I when I hear him, I get motivated to try to. You know, put in my little two cents, whatever I can do, and you know, from the situation I'm in now. So anyway, I want to give like a short, a brief description of two words, so we can maybe get an understanding out here. You know, that, that'd be my that'd be my goal. If I can give you like small fundamental lessons that you can utilize to get a greater understanding. So the two words is religion and dogma. Now. If you listen to a Ty Tariq lecture, you'll hear him say this often. You know, you know the, the masses do not get religion. They get dogma. Okay, now, if you don't look it up, then you know what I mean? You don't know what it means. So, you know, I'm not going to give you the definition. You can go look it up and get your own definition. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to explain, you know, the difference. And then you'll be able to see it for your own eyes because it's very, it's very apparent. It's very easy to understand once you have the truth. You know, that's one thing about us. We so proud of ourselves, but we know, but I mean, but we naive to believe that these people, you know, and I'm speaking, you know, in a at a, at a low level of consciousness, so you can understand. So, <laughs> so the the uninitiated can understand me. You understand what I'm saying? Um, we looking at it like this um, so-called European, uh, so-called white guy is um, better than us and is, you know, defeating us or whatever and doesn't like us. But yet we go to their schools and us uh, and just out of na- naive, naive, naivety, naivete, I have no idea how to say that. We just assume that they're going to tell us the truth, which is. I mean, it's stupid when you look at it like they I mean, let's just look at it logically. They are they have us enslaved, they have us as slaves. Right. OK, they get us from Africa, bring us over here. They have us enslaved and then they nice. And then one day, one of them, one of them get nice and let us go free. In 1864 or whatever. Right. So called Abraham Lincoln. Right. Which which he was not so called white guy. But I'm not getting into that. Just, just look at the story logically. They say. That, you know, one of the one of them got nice and let us go. But we all know that in early 1900s, late 1800s, we was getting lynched. We was getting hung. We know in the 50s well, in the 20s, we was getting cities were getting bombed. You know, the, the, the original Oklahoma City bombing, um, you know, in the 60s, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, you know, all the way up to the civil rights. We've been getting kicked in our head. So what's the point? And letting us out of slavery and then still treating us like shit. And then you think we're going to when they finally let us in their schools, you think they're going to teach us the right teach us you know, the correct way. I mean, it's just stupid. And then we have absolute really we really have. We don't have that many examples of success. You understand what I'm saying? Amongst our people in their system other than uh, Uncle Tom type. And, you know, if you just if you just a real person, if you're a man of any kind, I mean, or a woman, you don't want to, you know, you can't you, you can't belittle yourself for too long for a, um, you know, what I'm saying for some kind of gratification, you know what I mean? Or for some monetary gain, you know, you know, in the system, you got to you know, um, suppress yourself a lot, you know, in order to succeed. So I don't I don't know I kind of went off on something else, but the point was religion versus dogma. Okay, religion essentially means to realign. Just look at the word religion. Le- legion, re legion, uh, legion means it means it means to align, and basically you're realigning yourself with God, and that's what true religion is a realignment of 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 self, and it's really a realignment of lower and higher selves. You understand what I'm saying? But dogma, okay, is basically 
uh, a set of rules you must follow, and if you don't, then you you fail, and you're going to hell. I mean, ain't that what you know? What I'm saying the Christian doctrine is: if you're not doing this, that, and the third, you know, then you're going to hell, right? When true religion doesn't doesn't say that you have to do this, that, and the third. True religion says you get realigned with God you know there's there isn't one way to God but there's only one way to God you know and you know, I'm not gonna explain that you gotta understand that for yourself so you understand what I'm saying just look at your religions okay just look at your so-called religions and when I tell you religion means to realign you with God and dogma is to give you a set of rules in which you must follow or you are not in you're not in um, good favor, you know, of the God in the doc in the dogma. Okay, so I mean, just look at the religions, and you tell me, is it religion or is it dogma? Okay, so it's pretty obvious. Now, let's just leave it at that. Six minutes, you know what I'm saying. This ain't really no long thing to really understand. All you have to do is just go look up what dogma is. and Look up what religion is. And then you look at Christianity, Islam, Judaism. And you see what, which one is it? Which category does those fall in? You understand what I'm saying? It's real simple. I mean, yeah, it's real simple. It's real simple. So, that's, a, that's, that's major. You know, just another thing to add into the, damn, they lied to me about this twofold. You know, we need to get that folder full because we need to uh, purge our minds of this incorrect thinking. I seen someone on Google Plus the other day and they put a, a melanated child up there and they said, and he had blue eyes. I mean, white people don't, ain't the only people with blue eyes. And then in the comments, it's like, oh, hope, it's like, oh, that's what's up. Hope tip. And, and they didn't know. And I'm like, damn. We still think blue eyes is a good thing. I mean, it was a brother that jumped into the comments and, and put it down. You know what I'm saying? Blue eyes means recessive. That's a recessive trait. You know, blind hair, blue eyes. It's the recessive gene, meaning weaker. You know what I mean? So if we see blue eyes in our child, we need to be uh, alarmed. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily alarmed, but, you, you know, like that ain't nothing we need to praise. That's just that just shows a colonized mindset. Okay, white is right, black is whack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, religion versus dogma, man. Just look it up. Religion. Just read the definition, and then look up dogma, and just read the definition, and then, and then you look at the look at your religions, and you tell me what are they. All right, and, and then once you get that, you know what I'm saying, you can start to understand, you know, the game. I don't know. Peace and love. Take it easy.